one of the childhood dreams of mine is to be able to go to space. Mm. That's wow. One, that's one of the first reasons why I watch documentaries. History Channel had the universe, um, you know, Discovery Channel and new uh Discovery Channel and like National Geographic has like Neil deGrasse Tyson and all that. And uh just to I like, bring it back to maybe the origin story, one uh I went to one of the press conferences and all that where I got to meet Neil deGrasse Tyson in real life. You met him? Yeah. Oh my god. So it's like it's, so like that excites me because yeah, I get to meet this person in real life. I was like, what? Wait, where, where do you meet him? Art Science Museum. Oh, uh, he was in Singapore. He was in Singapore for oh the launch of uh, the first season of Cosmos. And Singapore was the only like ASEAN uh, stop in that global uh, tour. And I knew the PI agency because it's natural graphing. Huh? Oh you see how all these things come together by retrospective. Uh, this is retrospective good storytelling. Like, you yeah, didn't yeah, set yeah, up. Yeah. But everything all lines up. Uh, that person who said that we represent Net Geo, a few months later, say, Neil deGrasse Tyson is coming to Singapore. Do you want to go there? <laughs> oh Went there, you know, asked the question, took a photo with him because he was rushing and rushing out. I think I was only one of only two people doing the media uh, media preview to like take a photo with him. But like, great lah. So you have those kind of things. So for me, I believe, for me, the thing, you can't, I believe that we are in the Concord generation of space travel. So space travel, I believe, will be possible in our lifetime and we will get to see it transition, maybe not to the A380 standard that our children or our children's children will get to experience, but we will get to see the pale blue dot with our own eyes. Now, how do I do that sooner rather than spending a lot of money on it? To do that, you need to have a particular set of skills. You got to be an engineer, you got to be a scientist, you got to be something. Currently, right now, the only bet that I have because I've identified my innate uh, skill set, I need to be a good enough storyteller to hitch a ride uh, to then go to space. Essentially, like uh, that's it, hopefully. It's one of the reasons why I hope to be able to use my documentary storytelling skills to perhaps convince various government agencies over here to say, LTA, can I go down to one of the new Thompson lines, spend a month there talking to, uh, talking to the engineers, to the migrant workers, on what it means to truly work day in and day out on an MRT tunnel. I want to do that, but I do not have the current pedigree to do that yet. I plan to do that within the next five years. I, don't, I see myself being uh, or people giving me access because I'm a good enough storyteller. Because it is costly, both from a financial standpoint and I think just in terms of a risk standpoint, to bring someone in to tell a story. Not everyone wants their story to be told. So, if you want a busybody like me to go down because I want to tell this story, then you be better have good justification for it. So the things that I'm doing all this right now is all leading up to me opening up more doors for me to be an explorer. Go down to a MRT tunnel is being built. Go maybe to the underground of uh, Jurong Island where they are trawling out uh, underground facilities to see whether it is capable, uh, whether Singapore has the technology to house scientists in the future and perhaps even people living underground for an extended period of time. All these and more. Like I want to explore that and documentary is currently my passport for it. 